Morning Wednesday. Today is going to be a different video. I'm going to be showing you how I depot my lipsticks into my MAC lip palette. So I'm going to use all the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro lipsticks. I have all of them and then I've got like four leftover spaces. So I'm going to buy some more of the nudes to fill them up because the nudes are the most popular shades. So I'm going to be depotting all of these lipsticks into this lip palette today and I'm showing you how I do this. I absolutely think this is a brilliant idea for makeup artists because you can have all this space for 24 lipsticks instead of carrying around 24 individual lipsticks. So it's just a better situation and I'm going to show you how I depot them. So I've got everything set up here ready to depot my lipsticks. The lipsticks I'm going to be using today are the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro lipsticks. My hands are nice and clean but I'm going to go ahead and use some hand gel. This kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria so I'm just going to put this on now. It's important to stay clean when you're doing depotting of your lipsticks because these are going to be used on clients. So it's very important to be hygienic and safe when depotting your lipstick. Okay, so this is the MAC lip palette here. The actual palette itself was £10 and then the insert was £2.50 I believe. So it's very, very cheap and affordable. And this is from the MAC Cosmetics website. I'm going to go ahead and pop this insert out for a second. You're going to need a metal palette and then you also need a metal spatula. These have both already been cleaned and I use the 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol to do so and I just sprayed it on and wiped off with a tissue. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some of the isopropyl alcohol, the 99%, and I'm going to just pour some into this little glass dish here that I've got. It's just a tea light holder. So I'm just going to pour some of the alcohol into there. Just a small amount. And then I'm going to take a cotton bud, dip it into the alcohol solution and then start cleaning all the little wells. This will disinfect the whole palette and kill any bacteria that may be inside at the moment. So I'm just going ahead and I'm just cleaning each individual well. So that has been disinfected and it's just air dried as well now so this is completely clean and ready to use. And then what you want to do is you want to get your lipsticks in order you want them to go in the palette. So I'm going to go from like the nudes to the lightest pinks to the purples to the reds and then the darker colours. So I'll come back once I've got that sorted. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first colour lipstick that I want. So the first colour lipstick in the top row is going to be this one here. This one is called You Are Beautiful and it's a really light pale nude colour. And then I'm taking my 99% isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to spray the lipstick just to disinfect it and let that air dry. So now I'm going to take the lipstick and I can start cutting away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wind it down a little bit and just cut off about that much for now. And then when it's on the palette you can start mushing it down. The reason why I'm mushing it down instead of melting the lipstick is because I don't want to change the formula of the lipstick, I just literally want to depot them. And I feel like with lipsticks it can change the consistency and the formula and the texture of the lipstick. I want to keep it just how it is, so I am going to do the whole crushing down method. I just feel like it's a lot better in my opinion. But if you feel like melting down your lipsticks and doing it that way, then go ahead. But this is just my personal opinion. Taking the lipstick from the palette, and then I'm going to scoop this into the well, and then start moulding it down. Don't worry about the messiness of this palette just yet, because we're going to go ahead and smooth that down later. But now you just want to get the colour into the little wells and try and push down into all the corners as much as you can to fill the space. And I feel like I can get away with some more lipstick in that well, so I'm going to take the rest of that lipstick tube that we just cut, and just take a bit more, like so, and again repeat the same process by mashing it down. A tiny bit more space, so I'm going to go ahead and take the rest off. So that is the whole lipstick tube now. And again, start mashing that down. I'm 
just going to go ahead and start smoothing down the lipstick just adding a tiny bit of pressure and moving the spatula backwards and forwards just to give it a smooth texture then what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the little tea light holder with the alcohol solution in and I'm going to take another cotton bud and then dip it into the alcohol and then you want to start cleaning the edges so just going down the sides don't worry too much if this is messy because you can always clean this up and then you are left with one clean well that is nice and flat and filled it all up okay so while we're at this stage what I'm doing now is I'm taking one piece of tissue paper moving everything out the way and I'm just going to put the tissue paper over top of the well and with your finger very very gently push down this is just going to smooth out the lipstick and create it nice and flat to the palette so when you put the lid down it's not going to overspill or get any mess on the lid and then gently lift up the tissue just like so so it's now nice and flat Okay, so when you've done that one, what I like to do is remember which side it's on. So flip it round, so it's going to be this top one up here. And then I'm going to gently lower it down. And I'm going to remove the sticker from the bottom of the lipstick that we depotted. And put the sticker on the back of the pan. And then that way you know what lipstick this is if a client needs to know for a certain reason. So just like that, you have the lipstick in there with the name on the back. So now you want to repeat the same process for the rest of your lipsticks. Before moving on to the next lipstick, again take your isopropyl alcohol and just spray the palette a couple of times, taking a tissue and wiping off that product, just like so, and then you are ready to use the next lipstick. <laughs> When you have finished, this is what your palette insert will look like. So that's all of the lipsticks depotted. I have done all of them now. There's only two in here that aren't from Makeup Revolution. So the only two lipsticks that I used in this palette that weren't Makeup Revolution was this Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick in VI Pink. And I used it just here because I find this palette needed a lilac-y toned pink, so I put that in there. And then the second lipstick that I used was the Barry M lipstick in the shade, I can't remember, hang on a second, 151, which was this one right here. So it's like a soft orangey coral, when that one's more of a neon orange, so I wanted to go for a softer orange as well. So in case someone wants to go for an orange lip and they don't want neon orange, I went for a softer one just there. These gaps right here is because I want doubles of these lipsticks here. So this one I want to get a double of here and depart 
this one again, depart that one here, and a double of this one and depart, just because these three nudes here are my favourite colours. One of the things I love about this palette is you can label them at the back so you know exactly what they are called, just in case a client needs to know if they want to buy a backup of it. So now I'm just going to turn it round and just push it into the actual palette. Push down gently into the palette like so.